Look, I'm always happy to have more Marvel. Although, I don't know if this show really needs a mid a mid-season sneak peek, especially after the middle of the season. There's only two episodes left to go. They should have done this after episode three. Also, why did they need to promote this show after the explosive ending of episode four? I mean, I'm hooked, I'm ready. But I have to say, Real Good, which we talked about yesterday on Movie Math for making the Snyder Cut not look so good, well, they kind of dinged Falcon and Winter Soldier too by saying that Invincible was the number one show on streaming uh, like last week or the week before, which is insane to me because nobody's talking about Invincible. Maybe, I mean, if you're watching it, you would be talking about it. No one's talking about it, so that led me to believe nobody was watching it. Maybe people are. We'll see if Nielsen backs Real Good up in a couple of weeks because Nielsen is ridiculously late with their information all the time. Uh, But Falcon and Winter Soldier has a couple of tricks still left up its sleeve with two episodes to go. There is a guest star uh, this week on on Friday, Malcolm Spellman, the head writer on the show, already already revealed that there would be a grounded cameo of a character that had yet to show up in the MCU. I found out the actor, I don't want to ruin it, Also, my source swore me to secrecy on this particular one, but I will tell you, don't let your imagination run wild. This is more of a, oh, how nice for that person kind of cameo, rather than something that's gonna blow you away. Uh, Although, let's do the performance. Let's do the performance. I'm very happy about it. Uh, And then also, I know what happens to Zemo, which will either happen in this show, or it might now be saved for the Black Widow movie, because they've switched the order of release on these two properties. All right, let's, Let's take a look at this thing. How, it's, it's a minute 25. I hope they don't give away too much with just two episodes to go. Here we go! Steve believed in you. He trusted you. He did. Why'd you give up that shield? I have seen all this. I did what I thought was right. The legacy of that shield is... Is this for people who haven't tuned in yet? I am Captain America. Oh, that's new. A word of advice then. Stay the hell out of my way. We bled for this country. Shield or no shield. This is just to get... Well, oh, that's new. That's cool. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. That's new. You go, Sam. Don't, don't give that. Why would they put that in there? We don't want anyone else to get hurt. John Walker's like, too bad. You don't want to do this. Yeah, we do. Bucky's like, I've been waiting four episodes to beat the crap out of you. I love when they put the Disney logo on the shield. That's very sweet. Uh, I guess this was just if you haven't been watching Falcon and Winter Soldier, go watch it. That's, that's what this trailer is. Uh, um, you know, I, I think it's beneath Marvel to release this, quite frankly, especially because it features so little new footage. Um, so it makes me feel like maybe the show is not doing as well as they thought it was, or that, you know, we think that it is. Uh, maybe Invincible is the number one show. Uh, Wanda, I mean, WandaVision was a huge hit, and that never hit number one, according to Nielsen, but it was very high. It got, it got like, to number two. is the highest it ever got. Um, but, you know, it's a great show. If you're not watching it, you've been missing out. Uh, so, but I don't know if you haven't been watching it, if this trailer is going to convince you, oh, maybe I should go check it out. I mean, there are those of you who are waiting to watch it till you can binge the whole thing, and I think that's the only group that's been waiting, and so you're going to continue to wait. So, what do you think of that trailer? How have you been enjoying the show so far? Is everyone you know watching it, or are people you know not into it? Uh, I have some. I have some people I know that I like the movies. Uh, but they feel the shows is just a little bit too much of a commitment for them. Uh, I'm having a wonderful time, and I I love watching it with you. All right, so share your thoughts down below. Subscribe today, and of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now. 